Now people in Tokyo are starting to build smaller and smaller homes. In fact, they're so small that they fit into a parking spot. And the reason why this is relevant to us is because you're now starting to hear stories about people in the United States doing the same thing because it's more economic to do it. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, for my taste, it's a disastrous trend. Absolutely. <laughs> I barely fit in a parking spot, let alone a house that I would live in. Uh, so I'm not sure I'm in favor of this. No, I mean, I would hate it. I would be miserable. But it, it is a very interesting way to live. And we have a video that um, shows you how one person in Japan is living in his tiny, tiny little home. By the way, he spent $500,000 to build this home. Oh, disaster. Which, okay. really? Really? All right, let's check That's it out. It's amazing. Let's go. This is no trick of the lens. Super thin, ultra compact. The kitchen living dining room the size of an American walk-in closet. Fuyuhito Moria and his mom Yoko call this tiny, three-story single family uh, space home. Space-saving sliding curtains replace doors. Appliances tucked under counters are hidden in cabinets. Half-size sinks, oversized windows, and glass doors to create the illusion of space. Shoes stashed in stairway nooks. Zenbu corner. Zenbu. Every single corner is used. Hi. Even the staircase designed to shave inches. This is a spiral staircase, but how does this save space? It's triangular, says Moria, shrinking the diameter of the spiral. What are the challenges in living in a small house, in an ultra-small house? Getting enough outside light in, says Moria, and keeping junk to an absolute minimum. The Morias only have two coffee cups in the house. While living in cramped quarters is nothing new here in space-starved Tokyo, ultra-small houses redefine small. This house sits on 30 square meters, the space where you'd ordinarily park just one car. This was originally a parking space. Moria didn't have enough money to build a full-sized house. But I heard about ultra-small houses in Japan, he says. I thought this is doable by building the rooms on top of each other instead of side by side. This isn't just doable in today's economy. All right. Uh, of course, my favorite part of that video was when she was like, Shwang, wang, wang, <laughs> and shwang, wang, wang. <laughs> I actually like that because it really illustrates how tiny it is. Right. She was a little emotive with it. But nonetheless, <laughs> it was fun. It was fun for everybody. Uh, look, it's better because it's multi-layer. I thought right. it was just one floor, and you're like, well, stick to it, and just stuck in that one room. Uh, now, it still is not going to work for me because I'm not sure I even fit in that bathroom. Right? That bathroom is so small. Did you see that sink? Yeah. It's not for me. It's for other folks. But on the other hand, it, there is definitely a positive side of that development. Right. You, you know? I, it, it allows you to simplify your life. For instance, I mean, my room has more stuff in it than their house does. Yeah. Right? Two coffee cups. You have two people in the house. Why do you need like 50? Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, we do have far too much junk. Uh, having said that, there's no way we'd fit it. An average American family, let alone us, I mean, now that we got a kid, there's like a hundred kid things. I can't even walk through my apartment. You know what I'm saying? The, that apartment would be filled within the first 13 seconds. Mm -hmm. and, but you know what? I'm telling you, there's something appealing about it. I mean, it's probably environmentally more sound. It and, is, yeah. And uh, and it gets, let's, I like the idea of getting rid of the junk. Right. And as you mentioned, it's more environmentally friendly. And one of the reasons why is because it takes a lot less energy to heat that house or to air condition it. Right. Uh, final note on it. Um, he lives with his mom there. Uh, the biggest disaster of all is when he brings a date home. Yeah, but it's Japan, so I don't know if that happens. Oh, no, that ain't right. <laughs> Just, I, that was a total joke. Okay? Total joke. Total and <laughs> joke. Nonetheless, I denounce and reject it.